He said, if you don't listen to Rock's pride, or even what he said, he said, I'm going to get my glory one way or the other. Now, you, 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 you don't have to. You don't have to. I wanted to see God's power. My God. Uh, I was in Nona's house last night, and I'm, I, I thought I woke up our whole house. Just praying. Weeping. Crying. I mean, I, I got into a zone where I was like two hours straight. I just couldn't come out. And I know God, God told me, this is what he told me. He said, it has begun. Now, what does that mean? It means that the revival of the church has started. Now, you ain't got to be in it. You don't. Because he's going to choose you this day. In other words, he's going to give you the choice. Whether you want to be in the revival with him or not. Turn it down just a little bit, Tim. This is for those people. First of all, if you're not saved, you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, your personal Savior. You don't know the main attraction. I want to help you today. The main attraction will not be me, any one of these associate ministers, any of these pastors or bishops that come through. It will always be Jesus. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, you want to accept him today, I want you to shoot your hand in the air right now. Just high in the air. Just say, it's me. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Want to be saved? If you are saved but you're not living the life that resembles Jesus Christ and the price that he paid for you. And today you found yourself realizing, you know what? I got questions. Like all of us, I got caught up looking at church folk and I got my eyes off of God. And that's why I don't like church. But today I'm putting my eyes back on the main attraction. And if I see something that doesn't look like God in the church, I'm not going to look at that thing and let it push me away from God. I'm going to keep my eyes on the main attraction. If you want to be restored back to Jesus Christ, would you shoot your hand in the air and say, it's me? Come on up here to the altar. Minister Tim, he's going to pray the prayer of repentance with you. Last but not least, if you want to become a member of the Spirit of Fire Cathedral, you want to help us. You want to help us get closer to God. Our church is not perfect by no means. But if you would like to become a member of our church, shoot your hand in the air right now. Glory be unto God. Last but not least, if you're hungry and you're thirsty for God, and you want God's presence, you want God's anointing, you want the main attraction, you want to experience and taste the presence of God. I want you to come to this altar and stand on this, stand on this blue thing. It's just a corporate prayer. If you just want to be closer to God, I want to pray a corporate prayer over your life. If you want to become closer to God, is there anybody here that wants to be closer to God? Thank you, Jesus. Get thirsty for the Master. I'm, I'm telling you, if you come here, be ready for the devotion. The hand of the Lord is going to sweep across this blue man. God is going to touch you. Because that's my prayer right now. That anybody that comes on this blue man, that the Holy Spirit touches. Step up a little bit closer. Step in as close as you can. There we go. You, yeah, you, you, you can come all the way. You can come all the way. All the way. That's fine. That's perfect. Y'all yeah, get behind him. Amen. Unless you're trying to get in on the prayer. Oh, amen. Uh, pass it to the little man in the blue. Let me check real quick. Right before I pray now, because I'm telling you, you close your eyes, I want you to focus on nothing but God. I'm going to make this call one more time for anybody that wants to get closer to God. Anybody that wants to draw closer to God. I want you to come to this front right now. Before I pray. The Holy Spirit is going to sweep past this altar. He's going to touch lives. Just lift your hands and surrender. And I can surrender with your eyes closed. 
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I stretch my hand across this altar. I say, Father God, that in the name of Jesus, every hand that is lifted at this altar has made a declaration that they want to know you more. They have drawn nigh to you, Lord God. Now, God, draw nigh to them. Get closer to them, God. I pray that even now, that there would be a sweeping of the Holy Spirit, that there would be a manifestation of your glory, that even at this altar, you would begin to touch these lives. My God. Even right now, uh, uh -huh. there's a baptism in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in a heavenly language. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now. There it is. My God. There it is. Come on. My God. There it is. Come on. Come on. Receive that right there. Right there, there it is. There it is, there it is. The hand that my God is God. He's touching right now. I see it. 